welcome back to my channel. I've done a tutorial for you today on the look that I'm currently wearing, which is my favourite autumnal look. I love to reflect like warm reds and browns, colours of the leaves in my makeup. So that's why I've gone for a warm ready brown eye. But I have spruced it up with a little bit of glitter in the very centre of the eye. And that was using my new Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow Effect, which I love. I think it is so cute. It doesn't have loads of pigment and it's just like a really subtle sparkle. I always love a little bit of sparkle or shimmer on the eyelid. I think it looks so nice when it just catches the light a little bit. Just giving that a little something something. Yeah. I'm gonna keep the intro fairly short because it's a full face tutorial so the video is quite long so I do apologise. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Rude. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to know how to achieve this look, then all you got to do is keep on watching. I hope you like it, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video. <sighs> ah. To start off, I guess it. I'm going to use my NARS foundation in the shade Mont Blanc. And I'm going to use my Sigma F80, which is a flat kabuki brush, to apply it and blend it out. I don't like to use a sponge to do my foundation because I feel like it cakes it on a lot more than if you just use a brush and you're light handed and you just kind of like blah, 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 blah. so I typically put a couple pumps on the back of my hand like this oh my god I just got my hair cut and I found a really long split end or oh, what the um, and then I just go like this and put it kind of all over the thing and then I like to lightly put the dots over my face so I get kind of an even What's the word? Application. And then I'll go and blend it in. Blend it in. And probably put some more pumps on the back of my hand as well. Okay. Sometimes I just leave it like this as well. I think it's like a bit cute. Hmm. Oh, I didn't shut my door. I'm just adding to um, the blobs. And obviously, I've got to do the neck as well, you know. And now I'm going to blend it in. Just really light handed with it. I don't really like face primers because I just feel like, I feel, honestly, I feel like they're a waste of money. I don't feel like they do anything. And I feel like when they first came out, I would go and buy makeup and people would try and like hard sell me the face primer. And I'm like, fine, I'll try it. And then I got home and I was like, what have I just spent like 20 or 30 quid on when I could have bought a new lipstick, you know? For me, Moisturising the skin is just as good as putting primer in. So my advice would be go and spend your money on something way more exciting than primer. Unless you found one that like actually does something then please let me know. But I've tried a few and I just think they're a con. Eye primers though, I love. I'm having a love affair with one particular eye primer. Um, it's been going on now for about four, four or five years. This is quite serious at this point. And I really love him. I'll tell you about that guy in a sec. Oh my god, I haven't even mentioned. So the other night was literally like so awful. I got home and I decided to take off my makeup. Then all of a sudden I had this really bad stinging sensation in my eye. And it was literally like someone was stabbing me in the eye with like daggers. It was so painful. So I called my dad. What do I do? I've got something in my eye and it's really painful. And he was like, wash it out, rinse it out, blah, blah, blah. So I did all of that, made sure I had clean hands and everything, and um, it was still stinging like a half an hour later, and I mean like it was burning and it was watery, it was like in tears, it was so painful. I got in a taxi, I went to the hospital, it ended up being nothing serious. Just rinsed my eye out and then it was fine. But it was my eye makeup remover as well, so I'm not really sure if I'm going to use that one again. Um, so that was really awful and um, really scary and I was on my own. And I was in A&E for like two and a half hours, I was so tired. <laughs> So, eyes are a bit puffy. Now it's time for concealer, and the one I'm going to use is my NARS concealer in the shade Light 2 or Vanilla. I don't know, it says both, so I don't know at this point. And I'm going to use a damp beauty sponge to blend out. I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes just to give me extra coverage and, like, in my T zone a bit, so on my forehead, on the bridge of my nose. That's mainly to add some lightness to that area because it's a bit lighter than my foundation. And I'm also going to put it on my chin and around my nose. And straight after I blend it out, I'm going to go over the top with some loose setting translucent powder, which I'll tell you, which I'll tell you all about in a minute. But I'm going to get my 
setting powder ready. So the one I like at the moment is Laura Mercier and literally I love it. I just think like I my face doesn't shine up throughout the day when I apply the tiniest bit of this one over my face in the morning so I think it's the best. And I'm also just going to dampen my beauty sponge so I'm just going to put it in water and then like wring it out a bit. Um, because if you use a damp beauty sponge to blend your under eye concealer it will give it a much more flawless finish and it won't like cake up at all in any way so it's nice so not being too precise with it just want to shoving some underneath my eye and as I said around my nose which is where I get like redness especially in the cold weather a bit on my chin a bit on my nosey nosey and then some here on my forehead where like a frown and my makeup breaks up so I need a bit more coverage. And then I'm just going to lightly press it into my skin um, which is just going to blend it out. This is a real technique sponge but yeah it's a bit damp. Also I think it's better to use a sponge to blend out your under eye concealer because it's a bit more delicate just like lightly bouncing on your skin this motion than when you're using a brush and you're like rubbing it there um, and you don't want to tug your under eye skin because you don't want it to wrinkle you know quicker than it will naturally so you need to be like extra delicate and it's really easy to be um, delicate with a sponge on that inner corner bit really like squeezing your sponge so you can get right in there and give it a good blend. Then dip your sponge straight into your powder and go boop. And this powder is brightening as well so it really brightens up your skin which is nice because you want your under eyes to be brighter. It will just make you look more awake and healthy and pretty. And any remnants left over, just going over the other patches that you popped concealer on. Then I'm just going to lightly set the rest of my face with this powder as well. The reason I use this powder at the moment, I'm just loving it over like a, another face powder. Like for example, the one that I was normally using was my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I mean, I've also kind of stopped using it because I've run out. But using a bit of this face powder, um, just with any old fluffy brush, you will honestly have no shine throughout the day. It's so absorbent of the shine. But yeah, just using a bit and then tapping it off. So I'm literally using like this much each time. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with my eye primer and I use a Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot by MAC and it looks like this. And I literally love, this is the guy that I was just talking about a minute ago that I've been having an affair with for about four or five years. He is incredible. He is smooth. He is rich. Oh! But seriously, he is my guy. First of all, the colour of him, look, it's like a pale pink. It's like, that is what you want your eyelid to look like. You don't want your eyelid, in my opinion, to look like this. It's a different part of your face and it should have a different finish in my opinion. I don't want my uh, my eyelid to be the same colour as like my cheek because it's, it's, it's naturally like more pink so that's why I like that this is like a bit pink because it's more natural. Also I like just applying this with my finger because you just kind of warm it up slightly and make it a bit more creamy. And the last reason that I love this guy is, and you'll see in a second, he doesn't leave anything. He needs nothing to be seen. He covers up all of your veins and imperfections on your eyelids so he is on a scene. He's got my back every time. See? It's amazing. It's like this nice light pink natural-ish finish with nothing in terms of imperfections to be seen. And I just think it's the cutest little pot. I love using makeup that's really like small and cute. And it makes a cute noise. Like with the lid, I think it is so, so cute. So I just love him. Making sure that it's all over the lid, right up to the eyebrow. 
and all applied evenly. I do still typically go over with a tiny bit of the powder just to give like a powdery finish to the eyelid which is going to really make it so easy to do your um, powdered eyeshadows in a minute. And the brush that I like to use is my tapered highlighter by Sigma, the F35. So again, I just dip it in and I like to apply it in like a dabbing motion because I feel like if you go like this and your eyelid creases in the process then you're going to get streaks in the powder and if you get streaks in the powder they're not really ever going to come out well until you take your makeup off that night <laughs> uh. so I like to just lightly pop that on there and now I'm looking a little bit more healthy so for this autumnal look today, I'm going to predominantly use the Morphe 3502 palette, which is a big one. And you'll see why, because it has lots of browns and reds and black as well. And some shimmers in there, so it's literally like awesome. This is literally like a classic autumn palette for me, lots of warm tones and leafy colours. So I'm going to start off using the Jaclyn Hill JH30 brush and I'm going to pick up the shade Universal, which is this guy here. And I'm going to put this like in my crease, it's my transition shade. So just doing some screen wipe motions back and forth in the crease and then kind of rounding it off at the end. And this is a really big blending brush so it's really going to make the blending process um, nice and easy and then when I've kind of put all of the colour in the outer half of the eyelid then I'm just kind of whatever's left on the brush just bringing it in to the inner corner a little bit but predominantly I want him to sit in the outer half of the eye now swapping to a um, slightly smaller um, crease brush is the JH32 and I'm going to go in with I'm going to go in with the shade Risky which I love is this colour right here just to kind of make it a bit more ready um, and I'm going to do a similar motion but keeping this colour slightly lower in the crease And I like to do both eyes kind of simultaneously just to make sure every different stage I'm keeping them completely even. So again, whatever's left on my brush, just bringing it closer into the inner part of the crease. And then just going back in with um, the blending brush that I started with and just helping to blend those two colours together a little bit. And in fact, just applying a bit more of that universal shade as well on the outer section here, just to keep the two colours um, like noticeable. Now I'm going to swap to again a smaller crease brush, um, and this is the JH33, and I'm going to move to some of this one. Called Brave, and again doing the same motion, but each time I get darker, um, just keeping it um, tighter to the lash line and lower. So keeping this one really towards the outer V. Um, and because this is a daytime autumnal look, I don't want to go too dramatic. So I'm not trying to have like a super dramatic dark eye during the day. That's not really my vibe. Creating a really like wearable daytime autumnal look for you guys today. each time again just going back in with the brush that I used before not adding any more colour to it but just making sure that um, it's like fully blended yeah because I'm doing a daytime look I firstly don't want it to be too dark and I also don't want it to come up too high to my um, brow bone Then 
Next, I'm gonna deepen it up just a tiny bit more with my really small um, crease brush, which is the JH40. I'm gonna apply some of this black shade from the palette, which is called Wiz. So I'm gonna be really, really light-handed with this one and just apply a tiny bit in this outer bit here, really close to the lash line and then blend it out as soon as I've applied it. I'm just going back in with the shade um, Brave on the slightly bigger brush just to help to blend that out. And then back in with the first blending brush um, and first all with nothing added. Again, just to make sure that at the edges it's fully blended out. Going in with a bit more Universal, which was my initial transition colour to make sure that that's still visible in the outer edges really lightly. Next I'm going to go in with, I'm actually going to use, okay so I got this lovely uh, hourglass um, shimmer in the shade Scattered Light which is a glitter eyeshadow reflect and it literally looks amazing. Um, so I am going to use that. First of all, I'm going to use a shimmer, um, like a shimmery shadow, all over my lid, and then I'm going to dot a center of that, center of that, dot a bit of that in like the center of the eyelid. First of all, the color I'm going to use, um, like all over the lid, is Halo, which is this one here. So I'm just going to use my finger because I feel like that is the best way to get the most out of these shimmers, um, and I'm going to put this towards the inner part of the eyelid. I'm gonna get as close in as I can with my finger and then I'm gonna use a little brush to do the rest. I can always get further in on my left eye than I can on my right eye with my finger, I don't know why. But now I'm gonna swap to a more defined brush to get that really close in to my inner corner. So I'm going to use my MAC 252 Synthetic Brush and I'm going to dip it in the shadow and I'm then going to spray it with some Fix Plus just to get the most out of it. If I can locate my Fix Plus, I always misplace it. So then I'm just going to give it a square. And I'm then going to go back in with my bigger brush and a tiny bit of Universal and just make sure it's fully blended out in this inner corner bit. Now I'm going to use probably the funnest thing on my face today, which is my new hourglass thing. Actually my sister got this for me for my birthday, which is so cute. I'm just going to use my finger, so I've located my my last clean finger, all the others are covered in makeup. I'm going to dot this like more in the centre just to give it that um, extra sparkle, can you see? It is like the most beautiful little bit of sparkle. It's actually so, so nice. Mainly just putting this in like the centre bit of my eye just to give it that little sparkle. Going all the way up with this and all the way down but in that like inner section just to give the centre bit of the eye a bit of sparkle but I don't want the whole eye to be sparkly. I literally think this is the most stunning thing ever. I think they are so so nice. You know me! I love a bit of sparkle on the eye. Next, I'm going to do my lower part of the eye. I'm going to use a brush that I use, this like small crease brush, just to make sure that all the black is off. So this one, I'm going to apply basically the same shadows that I did on the top. I'm going to apply them on the bottom, starting off with Universal. I'm just going all over... Oh, before I start, I'm just going to wipe away key fall down that I have. So yeah, I'm just going to apply this all over the lower lash line. 
And this is also a great way to cover up the um, little creases underneath your eye. You should just pop shadow there. And I do think it just makes the whole eye look um, complete and bigger as well. Next, going in with the shade um, Risky. Again, I used on my top. And again, putting this all over. Until I get to the darker shades, I'm going to put them um, all across the lid. But I'm just going to keep the darker ones to the outer part of the lower left line. Next, I'm going to use a small definer brush, and this is the JH43. And I'm going to use this to apply the shade, oh, what's it called again? Brave, which was this one right here. I'm going to stamp it really close to the lashes on the outer part of the eye. Next, I'm going to keep to this definer brush and I'm going to go in with the black shade, which is called Wiz. And I'm just going to really lightly press a tiny bit of this really, really tight to the lash line on the upper lid just to give a tiny bit more definition and really keeping this on the outer section as well because I'm not going to go in and do any liquid eyeliner on the top just because I don't want to take away from the nice warm autumnal tones I don't want to have like a harsh black line but just really close to the lash line and keeping it on the outer part and then blending that out slightly with this crease brush. Next I'm going to throw on some mascara. I'm just going to use my Max Factor Velvet Volume in black. And I'm just going to apply this to my top and bottom lashes. I'm just going to throw on some brown eye liner. This is by Charlotte Tilbury in the shade. It's the classic eye powder pencil and it just looks like this. And I'm just going to apply it to my waterline but just on the outer section. Next I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to skip past this bit. I'll just let you guys know that I'm using the Laura Mercier eyebrow pencil in the shade Blonde. So I'm going to brush through my brush, my eyebrows first with the brush end and then I'm going to fill them in with the pencil. Next I'm going to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone. Um, my current fave at the moment is my MAC pigment in the shade Vanilla and I'm going to use my little highlighting brush um, which is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH41. So I'm just going to put a bit of this um, pigment in the lid and then just apply it with the brush. Next I'm going to bronze up. I'm not going to do any strong contouring today because I have quite dramatic eyes so I don't want a really like overly sculpted face. I'm going to use just a big fluffy brush and my Benefit bronzer which is Hoola and I'm still going to apply it where I would contour. Um, so like the hollows of my cheeks, under my jawline and across my forehead but I'm going to do a kind of a softer look. I'm also going to use a tiny, tiny bit of blush, again just keeping it very natural because I have got quite dark eyes. So I'm going to use my Dandelion Blush by Benefit, which just looks like this. And I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Contour Brush, but you could use any brush. And I'm just going to lightly put a tiny bit of that on the apples of my cheeks. I'm also going to add a tiny bit of warmth to my nose. I'm not trying to contour it but I just don't want my nose to be like this pasty big thing in the centre of my face so I'm just going to use this blending brush and go back in with a teeny bit of Hoola bronzer but literally the tiniest bit and just add a bit of warmth to the sides of the nose and to the tip. I'm going to highlight my cheeks a tiny bit as well. I'm going to use my MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish which I've smashed so I'm going to be really delicate with it. And I'm going to use this same highlighter brush that I used to powder my eyes with. And just add a little bit of this highlight um, to this section. But yeah, I'm not trying to have like crazy highlight because this is a daytime look. So I want it to be um, a really soft finish. So it's appropriate for the daytime. Oh, I was left just adding it on my cupid's bow. 
So for my lips, I'm gonna use the Candy K lips lip the Candy K liquid lip the Candy K Lip Kit. That was really hard to say. So I'm gonna use the um, lip liner first of all and then go over the top with the matte liquid lipstick. That was really hard to say. I'm not gonna overline my lips or anything. Just keep to the natural shape of them. Finish off with a squirt with um, my MAC Fix Plus. So there you have the finished look. I hope you like it. I personally love this look. I think it is great for the autumn. I think in the autumn for me I love to like reflect the colours of the leaves in my makeup. So I love like reds and browns. And as always I love a little bit of sparkle on the eyelid because I just think it looks so nice. So yeah, I'm loving this look. Um, for me, it's like perfect for the daytime. Yeah, it's a little bit bold, but but yeah, I hope you like the look and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And please share with me your autumnal looks. I'd love to see them. That's me for now. I'll see you in my next video.